Hey, what's happening? This is Greg. Got a poem here for Mike. Michael Miller. All right. Mike bought me bought four chapbooks from me, and so I I wrote him a poem. Um, this is just a, a little thing <clears throat> for Mike. Sometimes, when I am feeling nostalgic, I think about God. How interesting he or she, but in the interest of length and time, I will refer to God as a he while acknowledging the total possibility that God could be female or ideally genderless, though, as you will see, this will not be a poem that challenges or attempts to challenge gender normativity or the patriarchy, though acknowledging how the use of the pronoun he and referring to God as father as I do does nothing but a firm and uneven binary I am merely going off a mythology I was raised with, how interesting he might be. I believe he likes drinking. I bet he rides a train to work. I bet he works at a call center where everyone is trying to get a hold of him. I bet he sometimes drives aimlessly up and down the highways uncertain of his destination wishing for a different existence, because that's what I do, and I am told like father, like son, and so thus, like son, like father. Sometimes I wonder if God has a God, if God has lost faith in his God, and comes back to his God whenever he feels helpless and desperate. I wonder, <clears throat> I wonder if God went to grad school, got his MFA, and tried to make it as an artist, blowing most of his life and money away chasing a dream of sorts of a dream of sorts before succumbing to his fate of following in his father's footsteps and going into the universe manufacturing business. I wonder if God's God made demands as God makes of us. Does God, God demand sacrifices of the best of his flock? Perhaps that was the true reason why Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. God was simply sacrificing his favorite people to satisfy his God. Perhaps, then, God only keeps alive those he doesn't want to. Perhaps why, that is why Fred Phelps has been alive for so long. Perhaps that's why Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, and Amy Winehouse died so young. God is known to destroy beautiful things. I wonder if God's God is also the moon. I wonder if being God is anything like being a teacher, with all of your students forced to sit through class as you try to form their feeble minds, yet they barely acknowledge your existence. The pay is awful, but the rewards otherwise are plentiful. I wonder if God's government is trying to cut funding on all God activities, attempting to get rid of God altogether. God should really consider joining a union, try to get a decent wage and some job security. I wonder if God's God is a newborn child before language but learning how to laugh. I think about the problem God has to deal with on a daily basis, and then I drink my terrible coffee, and then my problems don't seem all that bad. So there you go, Mike. Thank you very much. I, uh, he also requested me to read it in somewhat of that manner. So hope you appreciated it. Give me a ring soon. Bye-bye.